Hello, Timmy Naxo here, Executive Vice President and Co-Founder of Fortis. We are talking about payment facilitation, PayFAC, payment facilitator. What do all these terms mean? What is the best thing for your software, for your business as you move into this new future? I think one thing that we really wanna pay attention to is how much payments have actually evolved, not only over the last two decades, but really over the last 24 to 36 months. As we went into the world of 2020 and COVID and post-COVID, a lot of things had changed. It expedited a lot of parts of what we call the omni-channel experience. That payments are not just one channel or one lane as it relates to our businesses, our software, and how we conduct and operate even as consumers. One thing that we've noticed is that there's been this uptick in requests for what people call payment facilitation or PayFAC, not to be confused with the facilitation of payments, right? So the facilita facilitation of payments might involve something as it relates to all of the different various ways that we make sure that we take you from your starting point in your payment experience, this guided journey, all the way through the growth of your platform, the growth of your business, and what is best at every single stage. We'll use a quick, fun example. I'm not feeling well today, right? People say, do not go to Google, especially doctors, do not Google what your ailment is. All of a sudden, you Google your ailment, you're like, ah, oh, there's 40 things that are happening, and all of a sudden, you became an expert in medicine because you Googled something. Similarly, in payments, we also understand that it's not a one-size-fit-all approach. There's not a silver bullet either. That there's a diagnosis that has to occur. A diagnosis that includes where you were, where you are today, and where you're going tomorrow as a software and business. And I say software and business interchangeably because many of us that may be a software provider also own businesses. Many of us that own businesses are also software providers. And the ecosystem is extremely complex as well as extremely adaptive and growing to be something that we've never, we never would have imagined 10 or 20 years ago. The ability to run a payment very quickly call it invisible payments, as you want to order something on DoorDash or you want to pay a babysitter or whatever that may be, has really sped up over time. So what people think is that is because of payment facilitation. A little bit of a myth there. When is it time to become a payment facilitator, a payback, versus going the traditional route of payment acceptance? Which one wins over the other? There are myths like, well, if I'm a payback, I make more money as a software. I board quicker. Yeah, that could appear to be the case. But when you do board quicker, what's actually happening is, is underwriting happening prior to card acceptance or post after card acceptance? What's that difference? For those of us that have used PayPal, used Square, Stripe, other payment facilitator, big name, elephants in the room, so to speak, those software experiences, those payment experiences, often don't give you the money right away. They actually put you in a situation where you could begin to accept payments, and once that payment acceptance begins, they hold the funds, and they hold those funds to verify that the funds are being used correctly. Why? Because once you become an actual payback, a payment facilitator, the merchant of record is one single account versus a traditional experience, each application, each applicant, each business is its own account and the responsibility is extremely different as is the risk. So while it may appear to a software that going down the payment facilitation model is the most valuable monetary experience, there's also ext extreme expense and risk that comes with that model because everything's under one merchant account versus many merchant accounts. What we wanna do here as a provider at Fortis or your provider is to ask the question of which is the best model for me? And guess what you're gonna find out? You're gonna find out that again, as I said earlier, there's not a silver bullet. Today, it is X, tomorrow it is Y. Or it is Z, which is a combination of both. 
simultaneously. When you are in an extremely complex card present environment with many point of sale systems touching EMRs, EHRs, property management systems, whatever business you're in there, any one of those that start to touch starts to become complicated. When you have different terminals at different points in your establishment or across your ecosystem, the payment facilitation model becomes less attractive for those scenarios. The larger your volume and the more service you might expect would also start to shift your decision on which route I wanna go in. So as a software, we have to understand where do you wanna be on your journey? I wanna run payments in the United States. I now wanna run payments in Canada. That's something that is extremely important today as we start to look at a more global experience. Today at Fortis, we made a real large effort to make sure that we don't only cover the United States, but also Canada. Chargeback management and chargeback mitigation, the burden is on the payment facilitator to handle that. Do we want that burden on us or do we want a partner that can help relieve ourselves of that burden? These are the questions that we constantly ask and it does require an ambassador of payments to payments for you and for your business. It's extremely important that we understand this. Now, if you're a little local shop on the corner and you are doing things like we did 10 years ago, it's a very simple answer for you. It's a very quick explanation, but that's not what's happening today. We have e-commerce. We have card present retail experiences. We have card not present experiences uh, of moto mail order, telephone order experiences. We have app experiences. The entire ecosystem have beca has become more complicated. And what was true 24 months ago, 36 months ago is not true today and will not be true in 12 to 24 months from now. So how we look at payments is that you need a partner in payments. This is very important, whether it's Fortis or your, your, your local flavor, whoever that might be, you need a partner to help you on this guided journey because payments are that important to the ecosystem of how you run your business and how not only the consumer, but the businesses in general interact with one another. We're seeing ACH and start to increase while checks have decreased naturally. Paper checks, are they gonna go away? Yes, they're starting to. Cards on file are very important for us and making sure that we can run recurring payments. All of these things are extremely important to how we create a more positive experience for businesses, for the consumer, and ultimately for the software.